Today, we will give a brief introduction of how to use HEV10, and here are the devices you need. First, make sure your router is connected to the internet. Then connect the computer and the router with a network cable. Connect the router to HEV10 via network cable. Use one HDMI cable to connect the video input device and HEV10. Here, we use a TV box as the video input device and know that it is connected to the HDMI in interface of the HEV10. Then, use one HDMI cable to connect the monitor and HEV10 and know that it is connected to the HDMI out interface of HEV10. Powered by any USB connections, here we use a power bank. After the connection is successful, the local loopout of HEV10 will output the video. Next, we need to use a computer to configure HEV10. The initial default IP address of HEV10 is 192.168.1.251. In order to allow the computer to communicate with HEV10, we need to change the computer's IP to the same network segment as HEV10's, which is 192.168.1.xxx. Press Windows plus R. On the computer, enter control net connections and click OK. Double click Ethernet in the pop up window. Click properties. Then double click Internet protocol version 4. Take use the following IP address. Fill in the IP address 192.168.1. 1.xxx. XXX can be 12255 except 251. Here we fill in 192.168.1.133. Then click Subnet Mask and use the default value. Click OK and OK. Click Close. Then we use a browser to log into the web user interface of HEV10. Enter 192.168.1.251 and press Enter. Here is the login page. The username and password is admin. After logging in, click Network and set the IP address of HEV10 here. You need to match the HEV10's IP and DNS settings to your network. Our network is 172.157.3.xx and DNS is 8.8.8.8. So we set up the IP address of the encoder as 172.157.3.251. The gateway as 172.157.3.251. The default DNS is ADA, 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 which needs no modification. Click Apply when the setup is finished. Then we change the computer's IP back. Similarly, double click Ethernet and click Properties. Then double click Internet Protocol version 4. Click Obtain the IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK and OK. Close the pop-up window. Go to the browser and log in with the new IP address of HEV10. Ours is 
The account and password is admin. Then click login. Now we have completed the IP configuration of HTTP 10. In video settings, you can view the status of HTML video input and set other parameters. First, go to the YouTube live stream page, copy the stream URL, then go to the encoder setting page, click at the RTMP button, paste the stream URL of YouTube into the stream URL input field of the encoder. Go back to YouTube, copy the stream key, then go to the encoder's RTMP setting page and paste it into the stream key input field of the encoder. Click start. Then wait for a moment. And it connects successfully. Go to YouTube. After a few seconds, you can see the video of the encoder has appeared on YouTube. First, go to the Facebook live stream page. Choose new stream key. Copy the stream URL. Then go to the encoder setting page. Click at the RTMP button. Paste the stream URL of Facebook into the stream URL input field of the encoder. Go back to Facebook. Copy the stream key. Then go to the encoder's RTMP setting page and paste it into the stream key input field of the encoder. Click start and wait for a moment. When it connects successfully, go to Facebook. After a few seconds, you can see the video of the encoder has appeared on Facebook. Right now, you can click go live at the bottom left to start your live stream.